telling you about E.T. Because if it wasn't for his ability to overcome his adversity, I probably wouldn't have been in a position to overcome my adversity. What does that have to do with you? Everything. Your adversity, you have to overcome it. Why? Because there's someone coming down the line who needs you to help them. And you can't help people if you've not gone through the situations that they've been through. Am I saying put yourself in situations so you can say, I'm gonna help the world? No, but make sure you build a network of people who have a variety of experiences that can you can pull them in and say, hey, I might not be able to help you because I can't relate, but I have somebody in my network that can help you. Uh, I just attended, uh, I think, my fourth uh, YB presentation. And what I learned that I'm going to carry with me is that when I'm nervous before a presentation, changing that nervous of my mind and thinking that I'm not nervous about this presentation, I'm excited about the presentation. And that's a great example of inverting nervousness into energy, into excitement. don't know the purpose, then ask yourself, what's my gift? If you can't answer the question of what's my gift, then you say, what skills do I have? Because your gift is what comes easy to you, but it's difficult for other people. I'm talking about easy for you. Like you don't even have to think about it, you just do it. And people say, oh girl, you're so good at that. If you get that all the time about certain things you do, that might be your gift. But if you hadn't gotten at that point yet, then start looking at your skills. What can you do? And if you haven't gotten to the point of knowing what your skills are, then you need to find a mentor.